the tarot 888 baby this message is for pisces now you can have pisces anywhere in your chart sun moon rising venus north node mercury and jupiter i'm here anywhere baby now some of this may resonate or maybe just a piece baby Take what does and throw the rest to the universe. Let somebody else resonate with it, baby. Now, Pisces, as I was shuffling here, and I want to thank all my new subscribers, baby. Oh, you guys are showing up. Thank you, baby. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. But you guys, I haven't heard the message yet. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Pisces. As I was meditating and getting ready for... For your reading, this card just kept popping up, baby. Either you're dealing with an Aquarius, but nah, man, I'm feeling Pisces. You are feeling like the star, baby. You know, after all that you've been through in the past and everything, baby, you're feeling like the star. Man, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, uh, and I'm, I'm going to have to name this, taking control of your life, baby. That's, and guess what? Hold on. And your past is shocked, baby. See, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting, baby. You've been hard at work, baby. Even though you've been through a lot, Pisces. And like I said in the last reading, you didn't seek revenge, baby. You just went on this spiritual journey, baby. It's like you took, you took charge. You accepted certain things that happened in the past. And you knew, you knew they were, they were shady. But you put a lot of time in your faith, in your journey, spiritual journey, baby. While these people was out here playing with you, see? You was over here like this. These people, were, it was a group of people. I told you guys in the last reading. And they just watched you. They thought it was fun and games. But boy, how have, I can't even speak, baby. Somebody's speechless. Because they don't understand how you have came this far, Pisces. They're species. They're shocked. Because they see you like this now. You are magical and mysterious, baby. Pisces. Now, now they want to see you. The people that betrayed you, they want to see you like this. You are amazing, And look at this, man. I know you guys are going to laugh because after all this hurt, baby, all this healing that you put in work on, you put a lot of work in yourself, Pisces. This, you want, they, they want to tell you this, I miss you. And it's killed me. Well, damn right it's going to be killing them because, baby, you're moving forward. <laughs> yeah, let's get into your reading. I'm... Y'all want to see the card that was over here? Y'all want to see this card. Energetically, I'm feeling this. Now, this ain't going to resonate for all of y'all. Because a lot of you guys ain't looking towards the past. Y'all been this far, baby. And let me tell you. Spirit, my, my guides right here are telling me they're laughing. Because you have people so shocked. And if you guys aren't acting this way, you guys are about to enter 223. Like a superstar is what I'm hearing. It's like emotionally, nothing's going to affect you. Any difficulties, you're going to laugh. And that's why I was laughing because they're it's like they're tickling me. They're like, all right. But there's a particular person. And I'm looking at this card and it makes me laugh. It makes me smile. Because for a... For a... Time passed, I guess, all this time that you've been working on yourself. You, there's, This is for some of it. It won't resonate. If it does, hit the like button, subscribe, and claim this if it resonates with you. You have been putting love on the back burner. You know what I'm saying? You've been focused on your inner healing, on your journey. And for a lot of my Pisces, before I get to this card right here, your spirit team is proud of you because you overcame this situation. With flying colors, boy, it's like you you guys are seeing things from a higher perspective. It's like one door closes, you're anxious to run to the next one. It's like your inner child is so healed. And if you ain't feeling that yet, trust me, you're going that way. But there's somebody particular that has been... This is two different messages, okay? 
One is going to be your past that is thinking of this card that I'm about to show y'all. But some of y'all are going to say, hell no. Nah. <laughs> this is what it says. Let's get naked. Some of y'all are just going to say, hell no. Nah. And that's good. And that's your choice. You know what I'm saying? Because, baby, you know the world is yours. So I don't think y'all are heading back, especially those betrayals. But there's going to be a few y'all that are going to slip. And it's all right. Because you're still coming out with thick skin. And if you do slip, it's because you're about to teach them a lesson. I wouldn't suggest it, but you got free will, baby. All right. But for a lot of y'all, this message here, let's get naked, is a particular person that has been around your energy or has been watching you, that has been wanting to plant some seeds with you. And he's hitting and missing. He wants to plant, but he's... He, this man or female, however, may resonate with you. They've been trying to figure a way to get your attention because they want to plant seeds. Now, this person might be so sexually attracted to you. And here you are, Pisces. You ain't trying to hear it. You're trying to focus on your coins is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. We did see coins right here. That's a lot of coins. Look, that card keeps falling off. But this person is a fool for you, baby. This is how you... <laughs> For, okay, I'm getting for some of my Pisces, you are in this energy. It's like you get up and you dance and it's like you've never felt so much alive. And you're taking control of your life. And this is what spirit always wanted from you. Your ancestors, baby. For some of y'all, like I said, a grandma, there's a high grandma or, or grandparents, a father. They wanted to see you. And look at this Pisces. It's like y'all might have had an ancestor that's a Pisces, a few of them. And look, they're playing with you. It's like you you have this inner child glow, baby. And it makes you so damn sexy and attractive. Look at this. Sex, you sexy and you know it, baby. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are animal lovers. And this particular person, when you're walking your dog, I'm hearing cat. I don't know who walks a cat. But if you're walking your dog or your animal, it might be that one that smiles at you, that always sees you. Mm -hmm. Or some of y'all even gave a pet to somebody. All right, let's get into your reading. Let's see what we pick up for your reading for December. Mid-September. Mid, mid People are shocked. They can't believe that you overcame these difficulties. But you're in this high energy vibration, uh, Pisces. So let's see. I'm hearing they just can't. They are shocked. They just can't believe how nothing bothers you. But this is how they see you. You're in the Knight of Wands, baby. You just out here being very adventurous. And if you're not there yet, baby, that energy coming into 2023, baby, that's what you need to expect. Look at this. The, the Ace of Cups, baby. What did I say, man? The divine, your ancestors are healing you. You're filling that cup and you're used to being alone. Some of y'all... Y'all love this part of this phase that you're going into. And if you healed that self-love, look at this. Look at look at spirit just blessing you with this love. And I'm talking love and finances and everything. Look at all that gold. Some of y'all wear a lot of gold. Look at all sexy and everything. Look at that. Mm-hmm. One more card. Look at this. And look at your past. Look at your past. Oh, boy, how the tables have turned. And see, spirit is forcing these people to look at you shining. Look at this. And moving on, baby. Forcing them. Look at this. They're biting their nails like that. Mm -mm. Man, I'm telling you, Pisces. They can't face it, huh? Let's see. What's what's the outcome of these people? What's the outcome for Pisces, actually? We don't want to hear about people. Let's see. What, what does Pisces need? Pisces, you need to... You, I don't think you need to, to be more discerned. I, I feel, Pisces, you already got your sword up. The Queen of Swords right there. You cutting off all the BS. And look at you. You even smiling. 
Pisces, boy, you get, you don't have to get violent, baby. You laughing, you cutting shit off that no longer resonates with you. And that's why they scared. Look at this. Mm-hmm. You ain't moving backwards, baby. You look back at how far you've came. But in this life of, of uh, in this game of life, baby, you moving forward. Look how much abundant you are. Look at that royalty robe right there. <laughs> you looking back. <laughs> all right. And look, last card right here. The king of pinnacles. This, you're armored up. You're all about your pinnacles. You worked on a craft. There was a particular thing that you've been working on. And if you haven't been, you need to work on it. And this particular thing that you've been working, either to help people, um, just the craft that you've been working on, that you've been keeping quiet about, it's, a, it's protected by spirit. You need to tap into it. You need to put it out there is what I'm hearing. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all are afraid to put it out. You know, but you need to, the spirit is telling me to put it out. Let's see. Let's get a couple of these messages for Pisces. See what falls out. All right. Let's see. Just a few. One more. See, what did I say? What did I say, Pisces? Huh? Someone loves your smile, baby. Pisces, I think you're going into this New Year's or Christmas. You finally left the past behind. You still think about it. You still see them, but you're moving on, baby. Somebody wants to, somebody loves your smile. Or that may be you, but we're talking about Pisces. September, maybe since September, somebody you met in September. Or September might be. Pisces, this hard situation that you went through. Like I said, you're taking control of your life. You know, it might have slowed you down for a few months, a few years, some of y'all, a couple of years, I'm hearing. And you guys were a go-getter back then. And you felt you, you lacked the confidence after this betrayal. But spirit, my guides are telling me that the go-getter in you, baby, is going to be 10 times stronger, baby. Look at that money at the top. And your, your aura is going to make people crazy, baby. Just this attitude of going, being a go-getter, you're going to bring this energy. This is going to attract people. You're going to shine. You're just going to lighten up the room is what I'm hearing. And you're going to make people go crazy. And look, betrayal. If you look at it upside down, there's no more betrayal, baby. If you look at it like this, it is a betrayal that you experience. We talked about it in the last thing, in the last, uh, in the last reading. And check this out. They were just karmic cycles that you overcame, baby. Karmic cycles, baby. You overcame them. And y'all might have been dealing with the Toro, a Toro, a Taurus, or somebody from May. But for my Pisces that were dealing with love, I'm going to show you this last card. That were dealing with love and you were wondering, why can't I attract love? Spirit didn't want you to attract love. Some of y'all, Spirit wants you just to hold on just a little bit more. They got the right person and they're going to send you somebody. Some of, some, some of them are going to be that months that came out, a May or September. And you, you got you to gotta look out. Spirit wants you to maybe even do a little casual dating. And that doesn't mean you got to let go and, and exchange your energy, baby. Because, man, I don't, mm -mm, we protecting ourselves, baby. You're high vibrational. You've been through too much to be able to give your energy out. That's your choice. But look at this. You'll have your chance to be casual dating. And you're going to know who's for you and who's not for you. All right. I got. Let's, let's go to this. This uh, message from the universe real quick. This was a short little message. But let's see. What do we got for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising. Venus anywhere in your chart. 
for December. Mid December. Let's see. Oh my God. Y'all seen that, man? That was your spirit guide right there. It says, I choose to live with ease. It says, Life does not have to be a difficult as you sometimes make it. Complete this sentence. One way I could let my life be easy is. Look at this. We were just talking about this, Pisces. This difficulties people are tripping out because you overcame these difficulties. Let's read this sentence again for my people, my Pisces that need it. One way you could let life be easier is and fill in the blank. So let's go from the top. Life does not have to be as difficult as you sometimes make it. Complete this sentence. One way I could let my life be easier is letting go. I'm hearing just letting go of the BS and moving forward and smiling because you got a beautiful smile, Pisces. Mm -hmm. All right, I got this, this deck right here with, let's see what we have. Let's see, two cards. I don't even know which one it is, okay? I'm just guided to pull it up. All right, here we go. Let's get a card for you. Let's and right away it says Jonah Ark, voice of truth. See, y'all were dealing. Oh my God. Hold on. I'm getting this message. One of the reasons why people didn't like you in the past, and even now, is you have this voice of truth. And that shit got you in trouble. But you ain't backing down, Pisces. You you stand on what you speak, is what I'm hearing. And that's why a lot of y'all. Y'all have this tough skin. These betrayals, man. Cancer had the same situation. Y'all need to maybe go check that that uh, video out. But y'all have this positivity that when you start looking at negativity, you transmute to positive. And uh, it says, Joan of Arc, the voice of truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. See? There was a great purpose behind this betrayal. And a lot of you guys are coming out winning. It's like people don't realize how much betrayal you went through and you're smiling. And that's why that people like your smile. There's people don't understand. I've been through so much betrayal and my energy is just vibrating like at high point. I have my bad days, don't get me wrong. But let me tell you, when you start looking at things at a higher perspective, like I went all in on my journey. Like when spirit told me you had to let go of this, let go of that, this. I said, all right. And I devoted my time. And I found out all the things I needed to heal. And there was a lot that betrayed me too. But then I started looking back and I said, well, this is where it needed to put me in. Or, or, in other words, it was part of my journeys. Even Jesus got betrayed by Judas. It was part of his purpose. But look at this. Your, you have your testimony, I'm hearing. Your testimony, baby, is going to shake so many people. So hit the like button, baby. Share, subscribe, comment, baby. Comment, baby. Participate. Joan of Arc, baby. Speak your truth, Pisces. Someone rising in which heart? Infinite Tarot 888. Thank you, guys.